Welcome to the Rainforest Connection. This is a very special kind of rainforest called a cloud forest or a montane wet forest. And like other rainforests, it's very wet, has very high species diversity, and it has lots of interactions among the species. We have plants growing on top of plants. We call these epiphytes. There are plants that grow on leaves and those are epiphylls. There are symbioses between species. There's lots of decay and decomposition going on that rapidly puts the nutrients back into the plants. And there are many special adaptations Okay. What do we got here? Oh yes. That's good muck. Well, as you know, we're in a cloud forest and that indicates lots of moisture. Lots and lots of rain and just low, sort of low clouds just floating through all the vegetation. And you can see how dense all this vegetation is with all the mosses and epiphytes and all these large leaf plants. It's uh, very, very dense and very, very tough to see things in. One of the things that we're trying to do is to get some good photography, some good pictures of various animals such as the squirrel, which we've talked about earlier. Now, it's very small, it's very, very quiet, it's very elusive. So what you need to do is to look for movement you, they're very rarely vocal, so you don't hear the sound that they make all that often, but occasionally you do. But it's movement that you're looking for, and finding movement in such a dense forest is not an easy thing. So finding your creature is the first step. Being able to actually have conditions where you can actually fo photograph your, your animal is the next big crisis and step, it's because again, the moisture. However, you know, obviously we're going to take it out of the plastic bag. We're going to try to focus in on our animal. And it's, it's very, very, very tough because of the light. We don't have much light here, so we're obviously using flash equipment. But again, the conditions are very, very hard. And your main difficulties are light and moisture and rain. Okay. I'm going to take my camera out of the bag here to show you. And this is one of the... We always carry the plastic bag again. This is one of the units that we're using to get some of our still photography. We have it's a telephoto lens. It's 75 to 300. And this gives us a, a, a fairly good range. But it's still very difficult to get the kind of photographs that we'd like. But sometimes we do get lucky. Greg isn't just lucky. He has great skills of observation that made it possible for him to see these very rare squirrels and even take their photographs. The ability to look carefully and observe is very important to scientists. Yeah, makes it possible to find strange things, makes it possible to see sloths like this sloth way high in the tops of trees. 
This is a two-toed sloth. You can see the greenish color around its face where algae grow in its fur. Sometimes it helps to have a trap and catch the animals and release them because otherwise they might not be visible. And we use special cameras like this automatic video camera that records when we're not there. We hope you'll learn more about the rainforests of the world through the Rainforest Connection. See you there online. Bye-bye.